National Park Nighthawks basketball is on X Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Our featured Nighthawk player for today's game, Mr. Kylo Anderson. Kylo, welcome to Nighthawk Nation, one of the many new faces in Nighthawk Blue this season. Come all the way from Texas, make your trip up to the natural state, and you have found a home in Nighthawk Nation pretty quickly. Uh, we can easily see what you bring to the table. Uh, you play hard, you go hard, you give it your all. Um, what is it that, that drives you to do what you do on the court? We've seen so many great things, but what is it like from your perspective when you hit that floor in the kettle? Um, I always think about my mom, my family, my little brother and sister. I always play hard, set, try to set a good example for them so they have someone to look up to. And uh, basketball has always been a scapegoat for me. You know, when I have a lot of things in my mind, schoolwork bothering me, maybe something at home bothering me. I can always, you know, count the basketball to clear my mind and have fun always. Has it always been that way for you? Of course, you know, from, from your early days back in Texas, kind of give us a little bit of your backstory. You know, what, it, what's, what were you doing before you were here as a Nighthawk? And, and how, did, how did Coach Hargrove find you? Uh, first, I, yeah, for Fort Worth, Texas, I went to Keller Central High School, played there all the way to my junior year. And then my senior year, I transferred to Universal Academy in Irving, Texas. I played really well there. We had a lot of good players there. And uh, I made a highlight tape. I posted it on Twitter. It was a link for YouTube. Uh, Coach Hargrove saw it, and he direct messaged me on Twitter. And uh, we talked for a few days, and then he offered me. Huge stuff. And I'm glad you mentioned that because Twitter has become such a huge platform for recruiting. And obviously, it's a, a success story for you yeah. and uh, for, for you know maybe other athletes out there who were in your shoes just looking for a place to call home kind of thing. So you're here um, you're here with a bunch of people that you've never played with before, but you really can't tell on the court. You guys are coming in on a four-game win streak. Really looks like you guys are rolling, and it looks like you guys have been playing together for years. How were you able to come in and make a place with a bunch of strangers? Well, first off, I think it's because we all share one love. We all have the same goal. We're all trying to get to the next level after this. So I think we all realize that we have that same common goal and it pushes each other. And also, we uh, bonded well off the court. We've had time to bond. We've uh, you know, been in hotels, uh, have fun, play video games together and stuff. So yeah, I think that really helps. You guys have been off for three weeks. COVID-19, uh, a historic winter storm. You guys haven't really been able to, to you know, play games the way that you've wanted to. Tell me what you guys have been doing to try to stay in basketball shape, stay ready, and ultimately, you know, get ready for not only this game tonight, but the start of conference play later this week. Well, yeah, it has been rough. We had a few guys that had to quarantine and things like that. But we've all just made sure that we all stay focused because we know our ultimate goal is to try to make it to nationals and things like that. So we made sure everybody was on top of their things in the classroom, uh, not getting in trouble in the dorms or anything like that. And, um, yeah. Central Baptist College, coming back to town. You've played them already once this year. They helped spark this win streak that you guys are on. What's the game plan for tonight? Uh, obviously, conference is is on the radar for later this week, but you got to take care of business tonight. You want to yes, keep that streak going. Yes, How do you do it? Well, first time we played them, coach thinks we love too many points. and We also believe that we had them. They had 86 or 88, I believe. And today we want to hold them to less than 60. But I think, yeah, I think we're all already locked in defense. That's what we really want to focus on going into conference because offense will come to us. I think we all can score. So, yeah, we're trying to focus on the defensive end. Let's talk about that offense a little bit. So, um, you know, very quickly, everybody here in the kettle, we, we love the dunk, okay? And obviously you love the dunk too. What's it like? I mean, I'm, I'm never going to be able to dunk a basketball, right? And a lot of people watching this are never going to be able to dunk the way you do. So let us live through you for a moment. What is that like? Uh, Posterize very, somebody. What is that like? It's very energetic. Uh, it really helps when it's a crowd, get your adrenaline going. Even when it's a close game, you just feel your legs feel loose. And uh, you know, you have your uh, teammates on the bench getting hype for you. And then, yeah, you just jump up there, punch it. I've got to text sometimes, sometimes getting too over exaggerated. But yeah, it just feels good. Got to take the shot to make the shot, right? Yeah. Kylo, congratulations on the honor. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Uh, I want to shout out to my mama, Aunt Tony, C-Dog, big homie, Fat Fat, and my dad, back home in Texas.
Kylo Anderson of the Nighthawk men. More on today's game coming up next. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com.